is Mary from Mom Behind the Computer. Today I was setting up my April digital planner in OneNote and so um, I don't have it all completely ready to go but I wanted to show you kind of what changes I've made to my planner for this month going forward um, based on what worked last month and just kind of show you how I'm setting it up. Um, so this is a big overview. It looks better when it's on like my iPad um, in portrait mode um, because obviously it's skinnier, more skinny than it is wide. Um, but I wanted to um, go ahead and kind of show you the overview and then I'll go into the specific parts here. So um, this actually does look pretty good once I have it zoomed in. Um, wide here so this works well for when I'm working on details and things like that um, obviously this is April of um, 2020 so uh, a lot of things are going to be changing because um, one of my friends mentioned that things are very fluid right now and that is the best way to describe it with the um, COVID-19 pandemic going on um, also things are very fluid in my life personally um, because uh, I am expecting a baby this month. So a lot of this stuff is going to change. As you see, I don't even have the dates filled in yet. Um, and I may even change some other things as we go along, but that is one of the great things about doing things digitally is it's super easy to change. So up here at the very top, you'll see I have my tabs. I'm considering changing those up a little bit, um, but I didn't have time to do that yet. Um, so I may change that up. I may not. Um, these are just for main areas in my OneNote that I refer to and that sort of thing. Um, obviously I'll change out these dates and I'll probably make, um, last month I did all of my weekly spreads on OneNote <laughs> in OneNote. Um, and it worked okay. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to do that this month but I haven't decided yet. Um, what I think I'm going to do is do each one on a different page on different note um, and then just link them all. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to see. I'm also considering linking each of the um, dates to a page that I can use as a journal. I've been using like bullet journal format, which works really great, um, especially on the days that I don't feel like journaling, it takes a lot of pressure off, but um, I know with having a new baby, I'm gonna wanna note down a few of the little things that are going on, so we'll see about that. That's something I'm considering. Here is the one thing, um, I listen a lot to, um, not a lot, I, I do listen um, to the One Thing podcast, which is, um, sort of a shoot off of Keller Williams, which I'm not a realtor or anything like that. But um, the talk is is about if you focus on the one right thing um, and making that a priority to time block and do things with, then everything else kind of falls into place. And um, I sometimes find that helpful with a week to say, um, if I can't do anything else, especially as a mom uh, who works from home and is homeschooling and things like that, what is the one thing that I want to focus on? So I leave a spot for that each week. And uh, some weeks I fill it out, some weeks I don't. But um, that's kind of the goal. This spot is empty right now. I did have a calendar here. It kind of... I also try to keep in mind that I want to be able to print these because I like to keep a hard copy of my planner. <laughs> uh, for archival sake, I guess. Um, and I want to be able to have everything on one page and legible. And I tried that last month. Um, and to do that, I needed to move the calendar out of this area. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put here. <laughs> I may put a sticker or something like that. Um, we'll see. Uh, so this next row is for my stickers um, for holidays and things like that. I did like having those there. And I found... Um, if I put them down in happenings, it kind of pushes my bullet points and things like that. Um, so one I like to do is my personal Sabbath. I'm a Christian, and I know most Christians <laughs> celebrate the Sabbath on Sunday. Um, when all of this is not going on, I am a Sunday school teacher um, and a children's ministry director at my small church. And um, so Sundays really didn't feel like a good day. Of course, I'm focusing on God when I'm doing all of that, but... Um, my mind is much more in a 
managing children mode and a working mode. And I just found that once I started that role, it was really hard for me to have a Sabbath. So I'm um, prayed about it and I ended up moving it to Saturday, um, which works really well. So I take Saturdays off of my virtual assistant job and uh, just try to focus on God, my family and getting rest. Um, I love that, that God created us and knew us so well um, to know that we we needed that Sabbath. So um, I do kind of keep a sticker there each week to remember um, to remember the Sabbath and uh, not get so caught up in doing too much on Saturdays that I don't remember it and keep it holy. Um, but I also put stickers in for like birthdays or holidays or things like that. Um, and so that's one thing I'm doing new this month is keeping um, this area just for stickers so that it doesn't throw off my other spacing. Um, here I used to have a 66 day challenge, which is part of the one thing. Um, I'm going to give myself a break on that with a new child coming and obviously everything that's going on with that. So I'm not sure what's going to go here. I'm not sure what's going to go here um, just yet. All right, under this is happenings and you see I still have church. Um, I guess I need to put that for this month anyways. I don't anticipate it changing for right now. Um, our church is thankfully live streaming, so um, I won't be able to probably attend the entire month, but um, I do try to attend and moderate um, and help people uh, there, at least welcome people when I can. Um, I put in happenings here, and uh, if there is something that's more consistent, I do leave it in. Um, obviously, everything's been canceled, <laughs> so um, church is about the only thing that is consistent with the happenings. Um, I'm trying something new here, just a little extra like tab area, um, and I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to put there. These are areas that I'm hoping to refer to on a regular basis. And um, I was finding again this month really drawn into more paper planning um, or like a paper digital planner, which I've done before. Um, I started messing with it a little bit and I decided to just go back to OneNote um, because it really is such a better fit for being able to do things on my phone and things like that. Um, but I think part of what I like about it is there's like clear boundaries. Um, and I'm finding that I work better when there's like clear boundaries. And that's one struggle with OneNote. Um, so I was hoping that if I could kind of make something a hub and refer back to it often, it might help. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm playing with there. I'll probably change it up a little bit. Projects. Um, so this is something that... Um, are things that I'm working on currently and uh, pages that they refer to. So prepping for our baby and hopefully um, that will be wrapping up here soon. Um, prepping for when I leave my, not leave, but when I, I take leave from my church position, that is about as done as I can get without being in the church um, right now. Um, we have a thing that we do, which is very similar to Vacation Bible School. Um, it's actually Backyard Kids Club is what we call it because we don't do it all in one week. Um, that is going to happen soon after I come back from leave. So I wanted to prepare as much as possible. Um, that hasn't happened as much as I wanted it to because of everything going on and because I started wearing down with this pregnancy a lot sooner than what I had anticipated. Um, but I have all my notes there and I'm just going to kind of, as I have, have a chance to work on projects, kind of review and, and whack away at it. Um, prep for my virtual assistant leave. And I do all of my virtual assistant stuff on a completely different profile with a completely different task list. Um, so I didn't have anything to link there. I don't keep it in my OneNote, but it is about done. Um, that's just to remind me, like, I need to be working on that. And then I also wanted to prep for, um, I homeschool my little girl. She's going to be officially starting, like, kindergarten homeschool um, this fall. <laughs> and uh, I just have a good feeling based on the fact that I am um, going to be a mom of a, a little baby, not a newborn at that point, but a little baby. 
um, that I need to at least have a month ready and prepared um, so that I can focus on her as much as possible. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a lot of extra time away, especially I'll be back in my virtual assistant job by then. I'll be back at church if <laughs> depending on how life goes by then. Um, and so I don't want a lot of extra brain power used. Like obviously I'm going to be using it to teach her, but that's why that's there. Um, and then this little sticker, I can't, I'm crafting today. Um, I've been linking that to whatever craft project I'm working on, um, which up until this weekend was, um, the baby blanket, uh, that I was making for my little guy. And, um, it, that has actually been something I've been using a ton, um, so that I can pull up the pattern on my phone or my tablet. Um, and so I really like having that there. I'm probably going to keep that there. I, I'm not working on a project right now, but I do have some gifts I need to be working on. So I'll probably put that in there soon. All right. The next section is tasks and these sections all here, um, are for the daily tasks. So if you see up here, um, they are for like what I need to do that day. They're very unique. I don't really fill it in ahead of time until that week, that sort of thing. Um, these tasks are like a running weekly or like ongoing task list. Um, things that I need to fit in at some point. And normally I have that filled in and I just copy it over each week. Um, I don't have anything here. These are weekly tasks that I need to do every week. Um, so laundry, meal plan, order groceries on a normal basis, not right now. Um, any meal prep I can, prep for my church class and school lessons, do a project life spread and visit some family members. Again, we're not doing that right now, honestly, and I'm not very good at project life right now, but that is a goal to work towards. Um, so these are kind of things that eventually, hopefully I, I hope to just sort of check off every week. Um, down here are more my routines and habits, my habit tracker, I guess, so to speak. Um, so these are things that I need to do on certain days, more or less. <laughs> um, so I always try to do my virtual assistant work, except for on the Sabbath. And I try to check in at least one other time during the day, do at least one load of laundry, at least one load of dishes, take out the trash on Mondays. Um, and then down here are links to my journal, which is more like a bullet journal. Um, I'm trying to start a gratitude journal, which used to actually be down here, but, um, I'm actually trying to focus on gratitude, um, and journaling that on Instagram right now. So if you want to follow me on Instagram and join me in on that habit, I would love to have you join in. Um, I'm just mom behind the computer, I believe, um, on Instagram. And anyways, pasting those down here kind of blew up my spread. So I'm hoping to keep those in a different little like, journal, a different little note, and then I can print those out separately. Um, homeschool, which right now just has like our homeschool goals. Right now we are doing very minimal. Like I think last yesterday it took us like 13 minutes. So very minimal um, homeschool, but I'm just, that's an ongoing page if I need to review what we need to do. Um, it matters more when I am... Uh, actually sitting down to homeschool her, but uh, now we just kind of do a couple of lessons to keep it up. And then I've been keeping a food diary mainly because, well, one, I think it's good to kind of keep a track of what you're eating, especially if you start to have issues. But um, also I've been cooking a lot more. And so I thought that that would be a way of kind of keeping a good review of what meals we liked, what new things we tried, how they turned out, things like that. Um, I do try to make notes on the recipes when I have them, but I just thought that this might be a little easier to do. We'll see. I don't know if I'll keep it up or not. Brain dump is for like those, oh my goodness, I need to do that at some point. Things that I need to keep. Um, I need to work in and get done. Um, so I, I use that throughout the week as just things come to mind. And then Bible study, um, I actually need to put my link. I have a Bible study page that I use. Um, I was working on Judges, and I found that really interesting. Um, but right now, things kind of got overwhelming. And so I've just been using um, my Bible app on my phone and doing a devotion there. So I try to give myself leniency as long as I'm in God's word and, and kind of working in that area. And then also I have a link to where I prepare for my Sunday school lessons, which again are not happening right now. 
This is where I used to keep my gratitude. I'm not sure what I'm gonna keep there or if I'm even gonna keep this up right now. I may end up deleting this row and moving up my calendar. This calendar um, has each week separate. So this is where I will link to the other spreads as needed. Um, I may end up moving that somewhere so that I can delete that row and make it a little more condensed. Unless I can think of something that should go there better, but I don't think so. Um, I guess it was last month I moved meals to a different area because um, I find that I work better both with homeschool and meals and things like that. If I just have a list of like what I want to accomplish um, in a week and I don't say what specific day it has to happen in, so a week or a month or things like that. So here when life was more normal, <laughs> um, I could list meals that we had things for or we were going to have that week. Um, and whichever day it sounded best to make that or do that, I would do that. Um, I could put a grocery list of things that we did not have for that meal here and add that to my grocery list, which I keep in reminders. And then um, anything that could be meal prepped ahead of time to save me time or whatever, I could put in there. And that worked really well. Um, obviously, uh, not a lot of meal prep, not a lot of grocery shopping going on right now. But um, I am going to just keep this area here. And uh, these are just bit emojis. Uh, bit emojis? That's the right way to say it. <laughs> um, of me doing those things, which I think is really cute. My little girl loves it when she sees those. So that is my um, overall template for April so far. I need to go ahead and, and you know, fill it in for April. But um, that's how I expect it to function. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. I feel like it's going to be a pretty good fit and very um both as minimal as I need it for when the baby comes um to help keep me on track but also it can be as complex as I need it which I don't anticipate needing this month with not a lot going on um other than obviously a very big thing for our family but um that sort of thing so I think it's going to be a good fit um, let me know what your plan is for planning in, uh, in April. I'd love to know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please be sure to hit subscribe. Um, I'll be sharing more of these spreads in the future. If you have any questions about how to use OneNote, please be sure to let me know in the comments and uh, I'll try to either point you in the right direction of a resource or maybe in the future, <laughs> maybe I might be able to, um, record a video and let you uh, know a little bit more about that. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.